I can't be happy when I don't have a partner. So we grew up in a culture that's very um, couple oriented. And so people who don't find partners or don't find partners for a long time feel deviant, they feel discriminated against, they're not invited to parties. And so it can cause a lot of unhappiness. I talk about the research that's actually been written a lot by Bella DiPaolo, who's a researcher in this area, about you know, how happy a lot of single people are. So, so it turns out that there are many lifelong singles. In fact, I believe half of the adults in the United States today are single. There are many lifelong singles, especially women, who are very happy, who are no less happy than married or you know, partnered people. Um, they, have, they tend to have a lot of friends, a dozen or more really deep friendships. I mean, can those of you who are uh, married and, and have children, you know, can you say the same for yourself? Do you have a dozen really deep friendships that you, with whom you, you know, keep in touch with uh, on a very regular basis? Um, single people tend to be very close to their family members, you know, nieces, nephews, you know, siblings, parents, and their friends are their own. You know, when you think about it, when you're married and with and with children, a lot of your friends are not really chosen by you. They might be your partner's friends, or they might be your kids' friends' parents. Um, but when you're single, you tend to choose your friends. The bottom line is, I mean, what I like to highlight is that there are a lot of single people who are very happy. And so if you have not found a partner or who, if you're not sure if you want to compromise or you, you want to live with someone else for the rest of your life, there's just a lot of hope for you out there from, from the science. So if you're single, maybe you're not so happy being single. Instead of kind of focusing so desperately on finding a partner, um, I talk about you know, becoming your best possible single self. And there's, there's research on what are called best possible selves. And they're basically kind of ideal visions of ourselves, sort of what, when you think about yourself in five years, in 10 years, in 20 years, you know, who do you want to be? What kind of person do you want to be? What do you want to be doing? So basically what research suggests is that focusing on that, focusing on the future, focusing on your goals makes people happy. You know, striving actually makes people much happier than, actually, than even achieving. And then maybe in the process you might find, you might find someone, but, but you're not, you know, you're going to be hopefully, you're going to be happy sort of pursuing all the different myriad goals in your life. Uh, and becoming the best person you can be. That's a much healthier approach than to sit around and you know, mope about the fact that you're single. And so again, this really ties back to, the, to one of the themes of the book, that happiness lies within. That you could be a single person, and you could be a very happy single person, and it, a lot of it depends on sort of what you focus on, what do you think about. Um, uh, or you can be a single person and you can dwell on the fact that you're single and how depressed that makes you and be an unhappy person. So, um, so again, happiness really lies uh, within us, not outside of us.